Chris, how you doing today? You know, one thing that really bugs a lot of people, and it bugs me too, of course, is spam email. I get tired of it. I get tired of seeing it in my inbox. I get tired of having to look at it. Just in general, just sick and tired of it. So, <clears throat> I, there you go. You know, this thing is just not. It's breaking. <laughs> hey, this is Chris. How you doing? We are. It's raining here, and uh, of course, not as bad as it rained down in Houston by any stretch. Uh, fortunately for us here in Central North Carolina, uh, the hurricane has tracked up. Well, of course, it's a tropical storm now, but it has tracked up uh, through uh, eastern Central Tennessee and it's going up through, um, I guess, eastern Kentucky. And I don't think we're going to see. We're going to see some rain because it, the, the, that hurricane or that system is just pulling a lot of moisture up out of the Gulf. But um, <clears throat> it's not it's not the, the heavy stuff. No, we're just getting like the trailing edge of it. So anyway, I want to talk about spam email. What can you do about spam email? Everybody hates it. Nobody likes to get it. Although I will say, if you are getting it, you probably did something to get it. Spam email does not often just show up in your mailbox one day. Usually it's because you were shopping somewhere, clicked on a link that had a deal that was too good to be true. <clears throat> That's probably where 90% of it comes from. Um, and so now that you're getting it and now that it's driving you crazy, what can you do about it? Well, you might be surprised. My first piece of advice is to simply do nothing about it. Suck it up. Spam's going to come when it's going to come. Just, just go ahead and delete it. You know it's spam, right? Because you know you didn't ask for it, and it's not from anybody that you know. So just, just, just don't do anything with it. Just delete it right away. Uh, this is a good case of a good illustration of doing do nothing, and it'll eventually go away, and it will eventually go away. <clears throat> Simply because. These people who are sending out these spam emails, they're looking for something. They're looking for money. They're looking for whatever they're looking for. And if they don't get it from you, they're going to move on to somebody else who they think they can get it from. If you've proven yourself to be an unworthwhile target, uh, then they will eventually stop sending emails because uh, I don't care where they're sending the emails from. It's costing them money in some form or fashion. Uh, nobody, nobody operates servers for free because everything costs money when it comes to putting things on the internet. And so they will eventually give up. Uh, the second thing you can do is you can look at the email, don't click on any links in it, and scroll down to the bottom of the email. And generally speaking, there will be in very, very tiny font, like maybe two point or three point or four point, if you're lucky, it says unsubscribe. That's the only one I would feel confident in clicking. Now, most true spammy, spammy email won't have anything. No, they're just, no, they won't put in a, a, a but more legitimate people, you know, who are running legitimate ad campaigns, uh, you know, they would, they realize there's, there's pushback from, uh, <clears throat> from, from too much spam. And so they will, they will actually on a request unsubscribe from their, from their mail list. It might take them a week or two to do it, but you, over time, you will see that amount of spam go down. Again, it is, it's is—it's a long haul kind of thing. Uh, the third thing that you can do, if you have, depending what kind of email service you have and depending whether or not the email service allows you to do it, is that you can set up rules and filters on your email settings uh, that will that will simply delete the email before you even see it. Now, I don't know I'm not really sure about a lot of the popular, you know, web, web mail services. Uh, I have fast mail. I pay for it. I pay forty dollars a year for it. I don't get any ads, um, which is why I like, which is why I like it. And I've had it a long time. It's been very, and it, it offers some other things too besides just email that I use. Um, but uh, you know, I can set up a, a filter or a rule that says if if a if an email comes from this certain domain, just simply delete it. I never see it. Their, their, 
their server at Fastmail takes care of it for me, so I never know it even came. Uh, so it doesn't matter what the people want. I'm, I'm not going to hear it or see it. Um, I know Time Warner, this is Time Warner Cable, uh, Spectrum Business, their email, their web service uh, does not allow you to do that. You can move every, you can set up a rule and filter and move everything to a deleted mail folder, but there it is. It's still on your desktop. You're still looking at it on the web page. So to me, that's kind of a, a waste of time to try to do that. I think CenturyLink's probably the same way. I'm not sure about Gmail. You'll have to check inside, you know, once you go to your Gmail account. Um, and see if you can set up a rule or filter for that. And if you know, for all for for whatever your web-based email service is, uh, if there is a way to to delete emails, there's a YouTube video about it. And I suggest you do a search on YouTube and find you know the appropriate information. I'm not going to go through it because first of all, I don't really know it, and I don't have any any accounts with any of those people. And so, you know, I really I really couldn't walk you through it if I wanted to. So anyway, that's the three things that you can do. Uh, three, two of them not so proactive, and one of them proactive. Uh, but just be, you know, just be ready for the long haul fight. Eventually, the people will will leave you alone again. And as long as you stop uh, engaging in the uh, clicking behavior that precipitated all that in the first place, then you will find that eventually you'll get very few or none uh, spam emails. So good luck out there. It's the wild, wild west out there on the internet. I'll tell you what. Don't take anything for granted. Don't believe anything that's too good to be true. If you have any questions or comments, please do so in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate when you do. And we'll see you on the next one.